The fastest route to problems as a data team is pushing your changes straight to production. And I know a lot of us, we start there and it seems really easy in the short term, but it always ends up leading to problems in the long term. And it's not going to be one you're going to be proud to explain. So in today's video, I want to explain how you can get around this problem by using version control and specifically why your team should absolutely be using version control so that you can stop losing your changes. You can release your code faster and overall work better as a team. So number one, version control tracks all of your historical changes. This gives you a lot of transparency and insight into every individual step of a particular piece of code. And considering a lot of the tools today are open source and code based, having the ability to do this is a huge feature and one that you don't want to be missing. Having this information tracked again, not only makes it transparent for everybody, but also allows you to revert and go back to previous versions of your code. So if you deploy something that breaks, that's not the end of the world. You don't lose everything. You can just go back and pull those changes from your version control. Now, one thing I still see teams doing today is within their code itself, let's say a store procedure, they have a comment block that lists the individual changes and who made those changes in plain text. But version control eliminates the need for you to do this. And not only does it track who did the changes and when, but allows you to see the specific characters and lines that were touched as part of that change rather than just a general description. So again, make sure you're using version control so that you can track your historical changes, revert back if needed, and never have this issue of saving something and losing it forever. Next is version control allows you to automate your workflow. Again, we mentioned a lot of tools are code based now, which means that there are easy ways to automate them and they're designed with this in play. A common example is CICD or continuous integration, continuous deployment. And a lot of these version control platforms like let's say GitHub or GitLab are built in with this feature in mind. So for example, you're tracking your code changes, you create a workflow file within the platform and within your project that will automatically run some script or do some sort of automation once it's merged or checked in. And this really opens up a lot of options for your team to be way more flexible and release code a lot faster than without it. You know, for example, if you're like me, you've probably spent a lot of days a lot of nights staying up for a release because you have to package all of your code and do one big release. But with version control and these automation features, you no longer need to have these huge release nights for your data team. Instead, you can do it in more of a real time and continuous basis. And from a stakeholder's perspective, that's going to look like you're getting their changes to them much faster than in the past. And again, examples specifically for this on GitHub would be the idea of GitHub actions. And on GitLab, it would be GitLab pipeline. And if you're not using either of those platforms, this same concept is available and a pretty common feature on most version control platforms. Now, the third one here is that version control makes it easier for your team to work together. Most of us nowadays, we work in a remote environment or some sort of hybrid environment. And with that comes new challenges and things that you need to work around as a development team. So for example, two people working on the same file, if those two developers are unaware and they both try to merge the changes, in a previous world without version control, you might be overriding each other's changes and be a little confused about whose is live and just waste a lot of time trying to figure that out. But with version control, it will immediately call out any conflicts for you so that you can get to the root of the problem. And even if you're working completely separate at different times, it will call out those changes for you. So you never have that problem of unknowingly overriding somebody's changes. It also allows you to establish some consistency and formality on how you make notes and make changes. So for example, you can include the task number or a specific ID to some other platform in your commit notes. So that way it's easily connected. You know exactly what this is for and every commit message looks the same or at least follows the same structure. So again, as a development team, version control is not only great for the individual code perspective, but as a team, it helps you work better together and avoid unnecessary conflicts that can result in a lot of wasted time and unexpected results. So in conclusion, nowadays, there's really no excuse for not using version control as a team. You know, with it, you can track your history, you can automate your workflow and just work better as a team. So I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks as always for watching and I'll see you next week.